All right, everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and behind me, I am developing quite the parking lot full of trucks. And I've got these trucks about to go out to Hodges, now that I've tested out the new one with my Corvette over there, and I'm happy with the build, and we're okay with the gas engines, it's time to start shuffling some of these around. I'm actually going to make these ramp trucks rentals eventually, as soon as like they're all done, because I'll probably have more trucks than I need all the time. And therefore, when somebody needs a nice tow vehicle, I've got you covered. For now, I'm gonna keep the diesel one. Uh, it still only has like 150,000 miles on it. But with four of them, I definitely don't need five. And the first one to go is Speed Force One, which I just noticed doesn't have a door handle. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly, and don't, don't let that overshadow the truck being good, because this truck has gone back and forth to Boston. It's pulled two cars to and from Alabama. The truck is solid, but it does have its quirks. And now the question I have to ask myself is, what is it worth? And that's where I don't know. This is where I put up an eBay ad. I make a video, I tell you guys it's for sale. And if you want something that's recognizable and does work, this is gonna be it. So I'll show you what's wrong with it. Cosmetically first, other than the door handle, which I just saw when I looked over my shoulder, this bumper, which I bought another one, I just never put it on, and then I lost it. So that you can get on Amazon, believe it or not, and it'll work a lot better than that, but that cleans up the front end, right? Just swapping this, this metal piece here, and then this thing can just be repainted, or you can even replace that on the bottom. This fender is missing here, this, fen this over fender cover, which you have on the driver's side. I don't know what happened, it just probably fell off one day. Again, positives on this, LLY, right? This is pre-def fluid. This is just a truck that worked, but people prefer, this is the best, pretty much one of the most desirable diesel engines you can get with the LLY configuration. I'm looking now and I swear to God, there was a door handle when I was here last time. There is not now. So I'm gonna open it up through the other side. That's new. Uh, but other than that, the bed back here, a little rust, but, uh, the, and this is surface rust. So you can brush this off and roll it white again if you want. This one we just had painted at Mako, and like it looks like a brand new truck when you do that. And this, this truck had the same sort of rust on the deck because we've had it for a couple of years. That one I actually rolled on with like, um, I wanna say like Home Depot or Lowe's paint, and it'll look just like that. It's for the top of the truck where you're gonna be rolling tires on it, perfectly fine. So it's a relatively easy fix. This is really a great shop truck. I'm not gonna run this back and forth to California every day. It doesn't make any sense to do that. But for a regional transporter, this thing will do work. Let me go on the other side, because that's embarrassing, right? So the door does work from the inside. I don't know why the handle is missing from the outside. You have a little bit of sagging headliner here. I mean, like this is stuff. This is a truck that's gonna do work. It's gonna be a fraction of what you're paying from somebody else. I mean, these things, if somebody cleaned this up, they'd probably list it for 35, 40 grand clean. Cause you can't get, you get these old like ratty 85 gas pickup trucks converted. This with the diesel platform starts up every time. Let's see. It's ready to go. But I mean, it pulls, it does a job. You can tow two cars with this and it just does the work. It's a four wheel drive, so you can do two wheel, four high, four low. Uh, it does have a, um, and I don't know what it is. Let me just turn this on. The air conditioning is not working. Let me just turn this on. So the screen will work, but the air conditioning is intermittent, which is frustrating, right? It'll blow cold, and then sometimes it'll just blow hot. I don't know what it is. Uh, this snowflake goes on. If you see, Justin, you're looking at the snowflake. This means the AC compressor's on, blowing nice and cold right now, but sometimes it goes off. So even though right now it's cranking cool, sometimes it doesn't work. I just want to disclose everything because if I'm gonna sell this truck, I want somebody being like, he told me everything, and I want you to get what you're paying for. The seats, uh, you could rewrap the letter, you could put a cover on. This one is the worst of them. Um, I don't know, this thing just sliding off here. The door, the door needs a little love over here. Uh, the lock works, the latch works. It's got the little crew cab here, so you can, I wouldn't recommend sleeping in the back, but if you had to, you could sleep in the back. Your leather's a little torn on the steering wheel. 
it's just a truck that does the job. It's, uh, I call it the ugly truckling because it's not stuff that I wanted to put money in. I just wanted this thing to work and do what it's got to do. If I had to bring my car to Miami tomorrow, it would be on the back of this truck going to Miami. The biggest concern I would have is just getting the air conditioning fixed. The uh, visual don't really bother me so much, but I don't know what it's worth. And, and I guess like, look, if it sells for $3,000, I just don't have room for it here anymore. Um, I don't anticipate it's gonna sell for $3,000. Even the, the most dilapidated versions of these trucks with the built out ramps in the back, you're probably talking 15 to $20,000. So we'll see what's gonna happen. It should be fun. Uh, it does have a winch in the back too. Let me just continue our walkthrough. Uh, it's got the winch on the back here. That wired up, good to go. It's got the tow hitch on the back, so it's got the square for the tow hitch. I got it, so you see where this one has the side rails? I think the side rails on something that's like 112 inches wide are incredibly unnecessary because I'm never worried about driving off the side of the truck. So I did not get those on this. So if you do have something wider, I had to move some lifts at one point in time. The lifts went on this because they could lay flat here and hang over the side. Uh, if you have something over 112 inches wide, that's that's very big. Sort of load it from the side easier because you could put a pallet down and then pull your forks out. So the truck will do what it needs to do. I've had a lot of stuff on this truck. I've had tons of stone on the back of it when I was doing my house. I've had cars on the back, SUVs on the back. We've towed the LFA and the McLaren down to Barber Motorsports Park in Alabama with this thing. It's done a lot of two-car transports and it looks pretty cool. I mean, it, it does require a little bit of love, but if you want uh, a budget truck that is mechanically sound and does the job, I just put a new Allison transmission in this truck, so it does have a year warranty on that. And that was like a $6,000 job. And I wanna say in the last, let's just say six months. So you will you have a brand new Allison transmission plus the LLY motor and it should be good to go. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description. We'll see what it goes for. Place your, not, not your bets, but put your comments as to what you think it's gonna ultimately sell for. And we'll get this thing moving on to the next owner and my fleet of trucks will go down by one, but yours will also go up by one. Rob Ferretti, thank you for watching. Happy bidding, enjoy it. Uh, this thing actually, a lot of people will still tag me when they see this on the road. A lot of Instagram tags, so to speak. So you could be me-ish in my old truck. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.